Hey guys, Mr. Q here. Today I am on the spot in Washington, D.C. It's amazing to be here. Washington, D.C. is full of amazing buildings and monuments, which makes it a really fun place to visit. It can be found here, on the east coast of the United States. It has been the nation's capital for over 200 years. But that wasn't always the case. During the Revolutionary War, the capital moved around a lot. The first president, George Washington, had to be inaugurated at Federal Hall in New York City. On July 16, 1790, a brand new city was founded and named after Washington. While this new city was being built, a temporary capital was established in Philadelphia. Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 of the Constitution declared that the permanent capital should be in a federal district instead of one state. That way, it would work on behalf of everyone and not make one state more important than the others. D.C. stands for the District of Columbia, with the Columbia part coming from the explorer Christopher Columbus. George Washington decided that the city should be by the Potomac River between Maryland and Virginia. He liked it because it sat between the northern states and the southern states and serves as a gateway to the interior. He even oversaw the construction of the Presidential Palace, which became known as the White House. But he was the only president who never lived in it. Washington's monument was finished in 1884 and was the tallest structure in the world until the Eiffel Tower overtook it five years later. French engineer and Revolutionary War veteran Pierre Charles L'Enfant was appointed to design the layout of this new city. He wanted it to be welcoming to Americans and imposing to their enemies in a way that mirrored the gardens at the Palace of Versailles. I saw lots of impressive things on my trip to DC, like the monuments for the Vietnam War and World War II. One of my favorites was the Lincoln Memorial, which opened in 1922. You would have seen it in lots of movies and pictures, but trust me, in person, it's really something. On August 28, 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. stood outside on the steps and said this. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged And now, all these years later, he has his own monument. Neoclassical architecture was popular in the 18th and 19th centuries. So a lot of the buildings in Washington, D.C. look like ancient Greece. Which makes sense, because they were the ones who came up with the idea for democracy. If you ever get a chance to go to Washington, D.C., I highly recommend it. It gets the Kid Explains History seal of approval. Oh, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Follow our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Comment about what you would like to see in Washington, D.C. Okay, that's it. Oh, and thanks for watching. Bye!